Breaking news overnight, a SpaceX rocket blasting off, launching one astronaut into the history books, set to become the first black woman to live long term on the International Space Station and the first black woman to do a spacewalk. Transportation correspondent Gio Benitez, uh, as I was reading that, I could see you with a grin on your face. This is exciting stuff, Gio. <laughs> It really is, TJ, especially because it was the, one of these gorgeous overnight launches that we see at night there. And now, right now, that spaceship is on its way to the International Space Station, again, with that history-making astronaut on board. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition and liftoff. The SpaceX rocket lighting up the night sky just before 4 a.m. Eastern. Let freedom ring. Godspeed, Crew 4. This morning, three American astronauts and one European cruising at 17,500 miles per hour, trying to catch up to the International Space Station. One of them is 33-year-old NASA astronaut Jessica Watkins. Her first flight to space is also historic. She'll be the first black woman to live on the space station for a long-term mission, only the fifth ever to fly to space. I think part of it is, is really just kind of the logistics of, of timing, but I also think maybe it is reflective or indicative of maybe a, a more systemic kind of issue that we are seeing in our country where there's a bit of a, a pipeline problem, if you will. With her doctorate in geology from UCLA, Watkins was part of the science team working on the Mars rover Curiosity. Now she and the others will work on more than 200 experiments in space, including a new kind of wearable technology, smart shirts to measure vitals, and testing artificial retinas in zero gravity. Watkins will also be the first black woman to do a spacewalk. She hopes her time in space will inspire a slew of young people here on Earth. There's room to invest more in kind of youth education and getting young girls and young people of color involved at an earlier age and then providing them the support and resources to kind of continue along that path and pursue careers in STEM. Cannot wait to see what she does. It's going to take them about 16 hours to get to the International Space Station. They're going to get there later tonight and they're expected to stay up there for about six months, guys. It's great to see you, Gio. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.